This video demonstrates the use of flexures for precision applications and recent improvements in our modeling method. We will start with a few examples of flexures. This is a single flexure. A flexure allows motion in some directions while providing support in the other directions. Flexure joints can be designed by connecting multiple flexures with rigid parts. For example, a flexure joint for translational motion or a joint for rotational motion. Multiple flexure joints can be combined to obtain a flexure mechanism, such as this four-bar linkage. Using three folded flexures, a spherical joint can be defined. By adding another series of three folded flexures, the range of motion can be increased. This particular spherical joint is used in the T-Flex, a precise hexapod manipulator for large range of motion that can move in six directions. This shot shows video footage of the T-Flex in action. The use of flexure joints brings several benefits. In contrast to conventional roller bearings, flexure joints do not suffer from friction, wear and backlash. Therefore, flexure joints are very predictable, making them suitable for precision applications. As there is no need for lubrication, they can be used in challenging environments. A disadvantage of flexures is related to the support stiffness. Ideally, it is very high. However, due to the elastic nature of the joints, the support stiffness of common joint designs tends to decrease significantly with intended motion. This is illustrated by the increased deformation in support direction in this graph. The challenge in designing flexure mechanisms is that they should allow a certain range of motion without too high stress in the deforming parts while at the same time providing sufficient support stiffness. In order to validate the performance of flexure designs, efficient modeling is crucial. The Precision Engineering Group of the University of Twente models flexures with custom beam elements using the software SpaceR. The frame parts are considered to be rigid. This allows for much faster computation than the finite element method with plate or volume elements, because the beam-based approach requires far fewer elements in the model. This approach has enabled successful design optimizations of large range of motion flexure mechanisms. For next-level flexure designs, this approach can be further improved. Recently, four methods have been investigated for improvement as detailed in short separate videos. The kinematically started deformation method accelerates the computation of deformed configurations. A refinement of the stress computation in beam elements improves accuracy. The width and thickness of flexures is varied over the length to improve the support stiffness. The use of super elements enables efficient modeling of the deformation of arbitrarily shaped frame parts.